Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today we'll be looking at the second part of my construction site mock, which consists of a facade building with scaffolding at the front with lots going on. So let's get to it. Okay, so I want to add some details. Now, a sharp-eyed among you will see there's a couple of bits missing in a couple of them and that's because I plan to have some paint spilling down from a higher level to a lower level. So the first thing is to add a bucket onto this level and have it lying down like it's been knocked over and then to have one of these modified plates and a two by two round tile giving the suggestion that the paint has been spilled and is running off the side and then the next layer got another one of those pieces and an aerial piece so it's running down pooling a little bit, but immediately running down to the layer below that. And then I've got a one by one round tile. And a two by two round tile, but with a stud in, a jump stud, a one by one cone, and a one by, well not one by, just a six long bar piece. I can put on the third layer down. So now it looks, from that angle we're looking at it, as if a bucket has fallen over and is spilling paint all the way down our scaffolding. Right, let's add some more details and some people. So for the bottom, I've just got a, another brick piece, the same as the ones being used in the building. Stick that down there with construction worker with a saw, so maybe he's chopping uh, up some bricks for use on the site. Because you need to chop them into half bricks where a half brick size is needed. So that's him. The bricks are obviously being used, so I've just got a quick stack of bricks on the floor above. Put it at an angle to give a bit of interest. And then I've got a grumpy looking man. Now that's the sumo head that I got recently in one of my brick hauls. I already had a sumo wrestler with the sumo head, but another one just for its pieces. And he's got a grumpy look on his face. So I thought he could be the one on the receiving end of the paint waterfall. And he doesn't look very happy about that. There's the guy. Cutting bricks. Next level, got a toolbox just to a bit fiddly now. Have on that one and a female construction worker using the really good hat with her. She's got a shovel, and it's very jolly. Got her walking on that level. And who knocked over the paint? That's the question. Oh, it was Emmett. So he's got a paint roller with the white paint and he's looking suitably guilty. Classic Emmett styles. He needs to be looking at the paint pot. And I've just given him a little drum. Got something or other in it. The construction just to add a bit more life to that floor. So there we go, there's the toolbox and the female worker. There's Emmett looking guilty at what he's done. And on the very top, because we've got the crane, the large tower crane, feeding this site with concrete, I thought we'd better have a foreman right on the top with a megaphone and sort of waving the concrete in. 
bit of detail for the top. Let's have a random spare plank of wood. It's one of those printed ones, the modern ones. Some more bricks just on a stack, giving a bit more interest. And then one more construction worker. I think I'll have him climbing a ladder so it shows them in use. So I'll show you those close up. There's a guy climbing the ladder and the bricks and the plank and the foreman who's doing all the ordering about. So there we go. I think you'll agree that that looks pretty good. Now to really finish off this scene, we just need a few more things. I got some signs, caution, unstable area, which I thought was quite appropriate. They're from the uh, Rhino and Sandman team up set 76037. Uh, I just bought the sticker sheet rather than the set from a Bricklink seller a while back. So I've got two of those and I've just put them on one by two modified plates just to give them some arms to clip on. And I thought I'd do those on opposing sides from the ladders. And that should be nice and visible from the train, which will be whizzing by the front of this, and the tram, which will be going around a corner, which will be roughly there. Also thought I'd add a skip because all building sites have skips for all the waste. I've just put some random brick pieces in there, one by one round bricks, some bits representing sort of old pipe and that's um, a one by one Technic brick just with some azure, medium azure um, one by one round bricks coming out of it and a few old sort of tap pieces and things like that. Just a pieces I don't need, but B just things that would be appropriate looking for a building site. And the skip itself with its stickers comes from 8196 Chopper Jump. But I think it's a really good bit to add because it just really caps it off. And then we've got the Buildings from the Tower Crane set 7905, which was the one that I mentioned earlier, will be supplying this site with concrete. And that's got a site toilet or a porta potty, as the Americans call it, with a nice sign on the door and a guy in there with a toilet roll. And then the porta cabin with a nice door sticker on there, which can go adjacent to it. Right, let's get this up to the Lego room. Okay, that's all in place now. That was a bit easier than I thought it was going to be, actually. I've taken the top three floors of the Grand Emporium and Casino, just so we can see better. So ignore that for now. But you can see everything uh, is along the wall. Let's zoom in for a better look. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It hugs the wall and gives a bit of height to an area that didn't have any. And it fills in quite a large space. We've got the porta potty or portaloo on the left. Obviously the facade with all the scaffolding next with the nice caution signs attached. And we've got the red skip. I've also added a wheelbarrow to the lower level and then we've got the porter cabin as well. I've also added a few bushes in just to fill this gap underneath the stairs that go up to the tram stop where Leicester is and I've also added this tree now, in a way, this is a facade of a tree as well because it's got no branches on the back half of it because it's pressed almost right up to the wall. But it still gives the impression of a full-size tree 
just with some of the branches at the other side cut off by that wall of this room that suggests that the whole city continues a lot more into the distance. So I'm really happy with that. Let's look at a few different angles. So there we are, back with the Grand Emporium roof on and all the floors beneath it. You can see that this construction site is very much enclosed on all sides. And some people won't like that because it's not massively visible from all angles. But I'm going for a very dense city with lots of different things that you wouldn't see on first glance. I'm trying to go for this density in the whole room. so. The reason for doing this now is because I'm not going to be able to reach this far wall when I've sort of painted my way uh, into a corner by the end of it. But um, I think it's important that we have different aspects visible from different areas. And I'd rather have this diversity of lots of small buildings, including these facades, than a few large significant buildings. And I also think the tree just fills a fantastic gap and gives a really good bit of colour as well. You can see the plane flying low over the tree. I really like that. And obviously now we've got the delivery of the concrete going to this site with the foreman with the loud hailer on the roof. I also really like the sort of humorous scene with Emma having spilt a bucket of white paint and it running down from the top level, or the second top level, down two further levels of uh, scaffolding. I think that's really good and the clock I think looks really good as well but you can't see it from all angles. Great! So as always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate the view and I also appreciate all my subscribers very much. And if you aren't a subscriber, please remember to subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. Do also like and comment below. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be adding a second facade building to this wall, but this time to the other side of the tracks over there. See you next time!